Here's how international travel has changed. Number one, be prepared for an expanded electronics cabin ban. Since the Trump administration banned laptops from nonstop flights from some Middle Eastern countries to the U.S., there's a high probability the ban could be expanded. Consider leaving your laptop at home. Number two, get ready for longer and more intense examinations coming back to the U.S. I would plan more time at uh, checkpoints um, to, to enter the country because um, you just don't know what the situation is going to be. Since um, the Trump administration took over, we've seen uh, more intensive interrogations, mostly of foreigners entering the U.S., but not always. But it impacts everybody because the lines will slow down. If you're not already in the global entry program, um, you have even more incentive to, um, to pay the $100 and join. Number three, stay on top of the news and in touch with relatives back home. Use STEP, the State Department's Smart Traveler Enrollment Program, a free service linking you to the nearest embassy or consulate. Number four, even in these days of online bookings, consider using a travel agent. Just with the uncertainty we face with travel this summer, um, it's a good time to go back and explore um, uh, paying a fee for some professional travel advice. The advantage is you have somebody back home watching your trip, somebody with the ability to actually make changes to your trip. Uh, so if flights get canceled, uh, travel agents can help rebook you and they can get you rebooked faster than uh, just um, playing the lottery with, uh, with your airline. And number five, for an expensive trip, you might want to buy the pricier cancel for any reason travel insurance. The other forms of insurance have many restrictions. And finally, get ready for increased anti-American sentiment, but consider it an opportunity to be a good ambassador. Bon voyage.